if silence could speak. This ghost forest in Washington State tells a story. The peace masking the violence which struck here over 300 years ago in the year 1700. As the same geologic forces creating the great earthquake and tsunami striking Japan in 2011 will strike the northwest coast of the U.S. again. We're on the Copalis River, not far from where it empties into the Pacific Ocean, on land that's being pushed higher every day by tectonic force. So what killed the ghost forest? It's very simple, a loss of elevation. So for hundreds of years, these trees were growing in largely a freshwater environment, but they weren't very high above sea level. So in the earthquake, the west coast of Washington state dropped more than six feet. This became a salt marsh and the trees died. And it's all generated from a 600 mile long fault running off the Pacific coast from Cape Mendocino, California, past Oregon, Washington, and British Columbia, Canada. The fault runs along a boundary of crustal plates making up the ocean floor that are for now locked to the western edge of the North American plate. Those plates pushing against each other, driving to the northeast and up. And when they release, all hell breaks loose. The next one likely to rank as one of the world's biggest earthquakes, a magnitude 9 plus. Ghost forests, and there are several in Washington and Oregon, are evidence. But there is more evidence that goes back not just hundreds, but thousands of years. From the Copalis River on Washington's west coast to Discovery Bay on the state's north coast, where geography captures wave energy. Geologists can track the history of great earthquakes and tsunamis. Chopping away at a mud bank, Carrie Garrison Laney exposes the signatures from the past. This is an event. This is an unusual event. She's a geologist with Washington Sea Grant, working with the University of Washington. And there's another sand layer uh, comparable in size to the one above it. What is gray is what stands out. Here, there are, there's definitely organic material, but there's also a lot of uh, mud and silt. Sand pushed in by large waves, covered up by more mud. And this one has a radiocarbon date that suggests it's from 1700. Scientists say it will happen again. And the state of Washington, with participation from Oregon, is trying to get ready. In 2016, 23,000 National Guard troops, first responders, even the U.S. Navy conducted a giant drill called Cascadia Rising. The expectation? In Washington alone, 8,500 people killed in the initial earthquake and tsunami, more than 12,000 injured, more than a half million buildings destroyed or damaged. Robert Azell heads Washington State Emergency Management. You've got to balance the thinking that you might have time against the reality is that it could be tomorrow.